installation of the connection module for digital controls and flush mounted actuators. First of all, let's look at how to install the connection module standalone. In this configuration, the actuators controlling the loads are located in the distribution board or a separate wall plate. If standalone, the connection module can be installed in any position in the support. Use the blanking modules to fill the gaps and ensure a safe installation. Access to bus terminals is from the rear. To unclip the blanking modules, leverage with the help of a screwdriver while you are pressing out. To unclip the connection module or the actuators while pushing from the back, leverage from one side first and then leverage from the other side. Now let's consider the configuration in which both the connection module and actuators are installed on the same support. As in this example, we have a flush mounted actuator with two independent relays. The bus connection is transferred from the connection module to the actuators via two contacts on the front side edges. The connection module needs to be positioned such as its terminal entry is not blocked by other modules. Place the green connector in a position where its hinge door is not obstructed. It could be to the right or left of the support to achieve this. Considering the end user could have access to the bus frame, you should close any gaps on the support with a blanking module. The position of the connection module terminal block is now easily accessible for the bus cabling. Once you have closed the bus module hinge door, electrical isolation is ensured. 